Hi, I'm Angie and we're going to try out magnetic molds today. So this is the first time I'm trying them out and maybe just a little bit what magnetic molds are. So here you have a polycarbonate mold and here is your bag and this is um, a magnet. And behind here you have also a lot of smaller magnets which will hold your transfer sheet so you will need a transfer sheet in place. Here I have a transfer sheet. Um, and you place it with the cocoa butter needs to face down. So here is my colored cocoa butter and you can just simply add the magnet and then here you have your transfer sheet. So magnetic molds are supposed to be used with transfer sheets. So if you want to learn more about how to use transfer sheets with polycarbonate molds, I have a whole playlist with um, yeah uh, transfer sheets. One more thing about transfer sheets. Before you um, yeah go out and buy all the transfer sheets you can buy, um, I made a mistake uh, when I first bought my very first transfer sheets. I usually only use dark chocolate, which means it is brown and I bought some designs with black color and this might be really obvious now today but when I first bought it I didn't thought about it that you can't really see a black design on dark chocolate and the same thing applies to white chocolate like this one here this transfer sheet I wouldn't use on white chocolate because you can't see the ghost really that's just something I've had to learn um, yeah the hard way the reason why I never bought any um, yeah, magnetic molds is the price so your usual polycarbonate mold is maybe between 15 bucks to 20 and this one here is rather 40 to 60 depending on on the shape and um, the quality of your mold so it's a huge difference especially if you need more than one and I only bought one of them because I just wanted to make sure before I make a huge investment um, that I really like working with them now I'm showing you my very first attempt with magnetic molds and afterwards I will talk a little bit more about pro and cons. Here we go. So here's the mold and here's the magnet. Um, so yeah, the mold doesn't have any, um, doesn't have a bottom, but it has like a lot of uh, tiny magnets here. So basically what we'll do, I have this transfer sheet and this side here is where the cocoa butter is printed on. I turn it around, put it into place, and then the magnet is doing its thing. And here we have the transfer sheet. So here is the cocoa butter on this side facing me. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much all um, I think you need to know right now. Yeah, and I think that was already the most complicated part. <laughs> And you know the drill. You um, temper your chocolate, you fill your cavities, release your chocolate, let it all set, and then you use your filling. So I've made an apple compote, and I've also roasted some pecans, so I have some crunch in there, and another layer of tempered chocolate. Let it set again. Here comes the interesting part. So I turn this around, and here is like, a little opening where you can push away the magnet um, and I guess now I'm removing the transfer sheet and now I'm not sure maybe I'll just oh yeah okay <laughs> that's how it works Okay, those two don't want to come out. So I put this into the freezer for maybe two, three minutes and then they should um, come easily out. Let's take a look at the rest of them. Cute, huh? I mean, this gives a completely different end result. It is completely different than um, the stuff that I'm usually doing. Um, that's really cute. Nice, I also love the transfer sheet to be honest. And you also have this um, shiny top and the shiny sides. Nice. Here we are. Uh, we've made it. And now let's talk a little bit about pros and cons um, of magnetic molds. Um, maybe one more thing I should add. 
Um, the second I hit the uh, purchase button uh, when I bought those uh, online, um, I thought I'm, I'm going to regret this. I will not like this, um, yet I will uh, just sit in a drawer for two years and then I will sell them. Um, and I will just only use it for this wood video. Um, but yeah, if I take a look at my pro and con list, I can tell you the con list is pretty small. Um, and the main reason um, or the main point on the con list is definitely the price. Those are expensive um, and really an investment. So um, that's my biggest, my biggest um, negative point on those. And also, um, I mean, they're made for transfer sheets, right? Um, so this is not a really big point, um, but you can't really use them without a sheet. Like, you will need something in between your mold and your metal, otherwise your chocolate will just simply stick on the metal. So I don't think that this is going to work. So either you need really need to use a transfer sheet or uh, like an empty uh, transfer sheet, um, which will work as well. And I also have a neutral point. So I don't really care about the weight, but those are pretty heavy. Like just compared to um, our regular polycarbonate molds that I've been using in the past, those are really heavy. I don't care, that's why it's on a neutral point. Let's move forward to um, the pro list, which is longer and I probably have to look to my list over here <laughs> just to get everything in here in this video. The biggest pro for me, it is super easy and super clean to work with. Um, like sometimes when I'm working with an airbrush or with my toothbrush or just with colored cocoa butter in general, I can leave a mess, you know, sometimes I really like have sprinkles everywhere and um, Will never happen with this because of all of the color I mean the design is already on here and um, yeah that's ma that makes it super clean and fast free to work with you don't have to watch out for your uh, colored cocoa butter that it's in temper or stays in temper um, it's already done on here on this sheet so this is really nice and hustle free storage I show you usually usually I have a lot of um, bottles with different colors and everything here i only have like a cardboard which is super flat and i get all of my cocoa butter transfer sheets out here so i would say the storage um, is a plus point for me because i don't have a billion um, different bottles that i'm storing i just have this cardboard and can really neatly stack them on top so i like this I like this a lot. <laughs> what I found, um, I felt like they're easier to polish because you can really go really neatly in here and polish like every single curve. So I like this. But I found it, um, which is maybe a little bit on the con side, a little bit harder to clean. Because look at this, everywhere you have those magnets and you have those cavities. So I felt like it's a little bit um, harder to clean here on the back and of course one of the absolute biggest points is uh, the diversity um, you can get transfer sheets from hearts to snowmans to everything and it will always look neat and clean um, usually my designs are more abstract and like pretty much all over the place um, but this is something that can be really really neat and uh, that's what I really appreciate about it in every colors and every designs and yeah that's really really good I have to say I really like them and I will probably buy more big thumbs up for magnetic molds and that's it for today um, of course I have links for um, yeah those molds and also the transfer sheets um, down in the description below um, if you have questions leave a comment or uh, yeah, shoot me a DM on Instagram at chocolate and that's all have a good one bye